Hey, all it's Tom. Um, a few months ago, I bought some survival cards off of a guy named Menno on Deep Woods Bushcraft to Survival, our Facebook group. And um, that was back in July. I haven't received them yet. I contacted them a couple times and uh, still haven't received them. They were coming from Germany, so I figured, well, you know, but now he won't even talk to me. So I, I know I got screwed. So a friend of mine over there, uh, Wookie in the Wild, that's the name of his channel, Wookie in the Wild, uh, heard what was going on. And he said to me, hey, he said, you want some survival cards? I said, well, yeah, you know, I bought them off this guy here. And uh, he said to me, well, you know what? Said, uh, let me know which ones you want and I'll, I'll see what I got here. I got a ton of survival cards. And it really, really humbled me because it does every time, you know, the people on YouTube are great. And uh, trades and, and stuff, and, you know, I've, I've got stuff that just shows up at the door I don't even know is coming. And it's like, hey, Tom, you know, I hope you enjoy this. Lately, I got a, a set of knives from Donovan, too. That he heard I like white handled knives and. He sent me two uh, Alonzo knives, I guess they're handmade in the United States. Beautiful sheets, beautiful knives. We got reviews coming up on them. And, uh, you know, I just like this here. You know, I'll send you some survival cards. So, let's get to see what's in here. And we got a nice orange bandana. 100% cotton. Look at that. Oh, holy crap. See this pouch? This pouch here was, uh, he did a video a couple days ago about building this pouch. It's the first wet form pouch he's ever made for an Altoid stint. And, uh, I had mentioned I really liked that, and there it is. Thanks, Wook. That that means a lot, believe me. Oh, there. Survival, uh, yeah, the survival cards and the Altoids tin and everything. I hope the survival card. Otherwise, I missed something somewhere. So this is what was inside. It was uh, Secret's tin or Altoid's tin, whatever. Okay, that's what I thought. He put the money inside. Oh, wow. There's a Frenzel lens. I needed one of these. Mine, I, I can't find it. Thanks, look. That was weird. Because <laughs> I did need one. Now, this, uh, this is the Tiny Survival Guide. If I can get it out of here. No, oh, there's a bunch of cards. Okay, this is this is this tiny survival card. Get free tips from Ultimate Survival Tips. I don't know if you guys have ever been over there or not, but the guy's name is Dave that runs a the survival show on Ultimate Survival Tips. Really not really nice guy. He's a veteran from uh Iraq, I believe. Design your own ultimate survival kit online. Okay, I uh, hope you can see that and I get it in focus. TinySurvivalKit.com It's capital T or at capital T-I-N-Y capital S-U-R-V-I-V-A-L dot com you can build a kit the ultimate EDC survival kit save 10% on hundreds of, of kit configurations and discover Dave's knife which is the MSK1 
Um, great knife. I've seen it used. So that's cool. I didn't know Dave had something like that out. That That's really cool. Look at that. It's a wallet. It's a wallet size survival book. Oh, okay. It goes like this. How to use this guide. Warnings. Danger zone. First aid and, and prevention. Shelter building. Fire. Water. Food. Hunting tools you can make. How to sharpen knives with different things. Tropical survival. So hey, you know, this is a, a great little book. That'll fit in your, your uh, I guess in your pocket or in your wallet. That's cool. Thank you, Wookie. Now here's the cards. Let's take a look at them. If I can get them out of here. They're kind of stuck. We'll get the Yondo gentleman's knife here. See. And we'll get the the uh, piano cleaners out of there. Well, we'll go one at a time then. This is a. Um, oh, this is the fishing reel. You wind your line on here, it's got the hooks and stuff. I gotta learn more about these cards, so that's one. Oh wow. Send me two P38 can openers. They're always useful. What's this one? The bead chain on this one. Oh, this is the arrowhead that you wear around your neck. You've got the little silencer here so you don't cut yourself. That's really handy if, you know, you get lost or whatever. The reason why I want to do this is I, uh, I want a knife from Donnie B all day. Beautiful knife. We'll have a review on it soon. And, uh, I was going to put a pouch on there and put these survival cards in there so that I had it like, you know, a multi-purpose kit because I do have a survival card for Wayne Russell Cold Craven as we know and uh, I've used it a couple of times and you know it, the hooks work great and the little knife is sharp enough to scale fish with so you know that's I figured I'd get these cards out that guy build this little kit on that knife and go on from there so here's another card this has got some double hooks and a whole bunch of hooks. So it's it, it's got a whole bunch of hooks, and these could be kind of like a lure. It's got all different types of hooks in it. So that's a good one. This one here is what? Oh, this one here is a gig card. See, the, you got one gig here and one gig here for like fishing and frogs and stuff like that. Oh, this is an arrowhead card. It's got fishing arrowheads, or you could just use it for game. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them on there. Just make your own arrow and attach it, and away you go. And last but not least, Gribben Woods, just a survival card. Now, this is an arrowhead here. You put this into that slot and makes a, a forehead, broadhead, four blade broadhead. Some hooks, really nice knife, and some needles. These knives usually work pretty darn good, but I'll take it out of here and 
sharpen it up. That's what I had to do with Wayne's. He had to sharpen them up. So let's see, we got the arrowhead knife and hooks. Got the arrowhead card. One, two. Kid card, three. Just the hooks and lures, four. The fishing reel card. When I get this done, I'll show you. The fishing reel card is five. Arrowhead card is six cards. Two P38 can openers and one tiny survival guide. And one great leather pouch. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it, but he's got a flag stamped in here. So, geez, look, I, I thank you. I was ex ex just expecting cards, you know. Never seen one of these. These are cool. The tiny survival guide and this pouch is amazing. Because I'll tell you why, that pouch is going to be fit right on the front of that knife. It'll you know, have everything contained right on the front of the knife. So, hey, this is Tom. Bookie, thank you so very much. That was uh, really surprised and amazing. It, sometimes this YouTube people humble the hell out of me. So, now, in the meantime, uh, Wookie has started a little business. It's called Wookie's... Uh, Should have wrote it down. It's called Wookie's uh, Projects, I guess, something like that. If you go over, though, it's Wookie in the Wild. The guy's got a lot of great bushcrafting videos out. Him and his wife and his dogs, they're generally out all the time. He's an ex-Marine, so he is a vet. So, you know, let's support that. And, uh, you know, he makes these pouches, and he has some artwork and stuff like that. These pouches are great. Let me show you. They got a copper uh, snap on there, and it's really good snap. But see, the, the work on it is really good. Uh, maybe we can get it. Yep, there's the American flag stamp. You can, see, you can see it there. Workmanship on it is great. Look at the USA stamp and uh, says Wookiees Wookie Works. That's it. Wookie Works is the name of his company. But look at the stitching. Stitching is excellent. This is hand stitch. This is a machine stitch. And it is wet form to make the pouch. Which will fit an Altoids dinner. You can fit a fire kit in here. You can fit a fishing kit in here. You could make a great compass pouch. <coughs> and a whole bunch of other things. What I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to mount it to a knife. And it'll have the tiny survival guide and a Frenzo lens, which means I'll have a way of making fire. And I'll put some matches and stuff. You'll see when I get done with it. It'll, uh, I'll have a good fire kit and a good survival kit with the survival cards and everything on the knife. And this way here, I got a baldric rigged, which baldric rig is just worn over the chest like a, like a sling. So I got it rigged up for that, and all I have to do is sling it over my head, and away we go. And I'll have a way to make a fire, and um, you know, a way to procure some food and stuff, and the knife, and it, it to be a good kit. I might even figure out a way of putting a water bottle and a cup on it, and then I'd have everything that, except for shelter, that you know I could use for a day trip. So, this is Tom. I want to thank you for your time and your patience. Wookie, again, thank you so very much. Go over and check out Wookie in the Wild, Wookie Works. And uh, if you're interested in some of these leather pouches, they're great pouches, you know, uh, give them a shout. You've seen it'll hold an Altoids tin. And, uh, you know, God only knows that you can put in an Altoids tin. So, this is Tom. I want to thank you for your time and your patience. Don't forget to share the video out, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.